Your NFT is missing. You just saw it the other day and now it is gone. And in this video, we are going to cover four reasons why your NFT might be missing and what you can do about it. And let's get the first one out of the way. And that is that you never actually had the NFT. You may have thought that you purchased it on OpenSea, but the transaction failed. And it's very easy to check if your transaction failed. Head over to your wallet, click these three dots and view your account on Etherscan, or you can just go to Etherscan and enter your address. And if you go through your transactions, you can see if you had a failed transaction, there will be a red asterisk. And if you click on it, this is what it will look like. So you actually never had the NFT in the first place. But let's say you saw the NFT, you just had it a few days ago, and now it is missing. The first thing you want to do is go to OpenSea and check your hidden folder. OpenSea will often place NFTs that they think are suspicious or spam in the hidden folder. And sometimes legitimate NFTs will end up here as well. So you can go into the hidden folder and you can unhide them. And this is actually a feature that some people like to have because you can take your NFTs, let's say you do have spam NFTs showing, or maybe you have an NFT that you just don't want the public to see. You can actually click on an NFT on the three dots here and you can hide the NFT. And you'll notice that many Polygon NFTs go to the hidden folder because Polygon, as we know, is a legitimate place for people to transact. However, because it is so cheap, this is often where we see a lot of spam NFT projects. So OpenSea will look at these Polygon NFTs very often as spam and place them in the hidden folder. But let's say you go ahead and you look through the hidden folder and your NFT is still not there and it was just there a few days ago. Another reason that it might not be there is that OpenSea removed that NFT from viewing. And a big misconception about NFTs is that OpenSea holds your NFTs. OpenSea does not hold your NFTs. Your NFTs are on your wallet, on your MetaMask wallet, on your Coinbase wallet or whichever wallet that you're using. OpenSea is just an interface to look at it, a centralized interface. So they can actually remove NFTs for viewing. And this is something that has happened in the past, maybe because an NFT project had political issues or racial issues, or maybe it was a knockoff or a scam project. So OpenSea removed it from viewing. So what you can do is head over to rarible.com, connect your wallet, and go ahead and see if you can view your NFTs over there. Unfortunately though, if an NFT is not viewable on OpenSea, it is very hard to trade. NFTs are very hard to trade to begin with, very low liquidity. So if it's not viewable or tradable on OpenSea, it, it will unfortunately be very hard to sell. And something to know about NFTs, like we just mentioned, is that it's controlled by your wallet, not by OpenSea or by Rarible. So you can always go back to Etherscan. And if you scroll over here to token, and do the scroll down menu, you can see all of your ERC-20 tokens, your ERC-721 NFTs, and your ERC-1155 NFTs. So this is the third reason. Now, the fourth reason is that your NFT that you just saw a few days ago is actually gone, right? It was stolen. You don't see it in Hidden, and you don't see it on Etherscan. And this is because, unfortunately, it was likely stolen, but I wouldn't even say stolen. Technically, it was given away with permission. Because when we connect to smart contracts, we may give permissions that we are unaware of, giving these contracts permission to take our crypto or our NFTs. And if you head over to revoke.cash, I will leave a link for this down below and enter your address, you can see the permissions that you set for your ERC721 NFTs and also for your ERC20 token. So you may connect your wallet here and notice that you gave permission for your ERC-20 tokens or your NFTs to a contract that you are unfamiliar with and they took your NFT. So if you see you are connected to something that you're unsure of what it is or you know maybe seem suspicious, you can actually go ahead and revoke permissions. It will cost you gas fee. And this is not just for Ethereum and NFTs. This is for other blockchains as well. It's very important to check the health of your wallet to see which contracts you connected to in the past and the permissions that you gave that contract. So if you want to check the health of your wallet, I definitely would recommend that you go ahead and watch this video link right above and in the description down below to learn how to revoke permissions. And if you like these quick, simple videos, make sure to give this video a like. Have a great day. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.